Hey, you. Hello, me. Yeah, you. Are you tired of getting your lasers power shielded by Marth? Yeah. Tired of this happening? Yeah. Well, look no further. Introducing... Mango Lasers! Alright, apologies for the cheesy intro. Today we're going to look at a technique that Mango abuses in the Marth matchup. Let's see how this works. Step 1. Shoot a low or mid height laser at a medium distance away from Marth. Step 2. Dash and jump over any potential power shielded laser. Step 3. Shoot a high, non-instant fastfall laser. Step 4. Try to convert off of a favorable mix-up. The second laser is the key part here. If you shoot a laser on airborne frames 1, 4, 5, or 6, the laser will hit Marth's shield but cannot be power shielded. Usually, an approaching laser in your opponent's face is subject to a power shield grab and is largely unviable, but this solution circumvents that entirely. This laser that hits high on shield can actually work on the rest of the cast as well with different timings for each character. As you can see, the laser just sort of skids off the top of the shield. I think going for this is especially useful in the Marth matchup. Most Marths are power shield fiends, due to a unique property allowing Marth to get easy power shields while dashing back or crouching. However, this setup completely avoids Marth's typical power shield counterplay. You can go straight for the high laser, but Mango typically sets up for it with the lower laser that you can jump over. The low laser is good to prevent Marth from dashing. Only shooting high lasers can leave you vulnerable. The lower laser you shoot, the easier it is to jump over, but it's also easier for Marth to jump over. The main key is being at the proper distance. If you're too close to Marth, you won't have time to jump over the power shielded laser. You can practice these lasers and timings by setting a Fox CPU to hold shine. Here, Mango shoots a fairly high laser, but is still able to jump over it. Experiment and see how high you can shoot the laser and still jump over it. Another reason this setup is so strong is that shooting a low laser into a high laser gives the opponent less time to act in between lasers. Also, approaching with the laser gives the opponent less time. Here, Falco shoots a low laser into a high approaching laser. The Marth only has 6 actionable frames between the two lasers and cannot get out his F smash. Here, Falco shoots a high laser into a low laser and doesn't close any distance. Marth has 17 actionable frames between the lasers. Marth can S smash, run to Walgreens, and be back for dinner. Now, how do you actually convert off of this? Well, if Mango is really close, he'll go for a shine. If Mango is a bit farther away, he goes for a lot of jabs. These can catch the opponent off guard and occasionally work out well for Mango, but they're actually quite unsafe. The opponent can hold down and mash grab to counter this. That's why it's a lot better to go for jab against an airborne opponent. Some other options are to walk shine, dash jump shine, running shine, uh, dash back, you can grab, dash JC grab, cross up aerial, F tilt, down tilt. There's a lot of options. Now, what kind of counterplay can we expect from the Marth? Well, these lasers actually can be power shielded, but it requires a special technique from the Marth called the Z power shield, or another technique called the ADT power shield. If Marth is holding down A and then presses light shield with one button and hard shield with another at the same time, he can use his light shield to power shield. This larger bubble covers the top of his head and reflects these lasers back. The ADT power shield is done by pressing the light shield frame 1 and then the hard shield frame 2. This gives Marth a reflector bubble the size of his light shield. However, Marths don't really go for these techniques all too often. And even if they did, the reflected laser would go over Falco's head. The more practical way is, well, to just hit you. Marth can jump over the first laser in Ariel. They can get hit by a laser in the air and then aerial. Marth can dash under or even grab under the high laser, or they can just play the mix-up after the laser. There's plenty of options. So even though Marths have anti-anti-power shield play, Mango has anti-anti-anti-power shield play. If Mango sees you jump into the first laser, he can dash around the take laser fair and whiff punish. Or sometimes Mango just shoots a lower laser. Now this can be power shielded, but it hits Marth trying to dash under the higher laser. The truth is, melee is deep. This one technique isn't going to allow you to beat every Marth, but it's a solid foundation that the best Falco in the world builds his gameplay off of. 
That's it for this video. Shoutouts to Ginger who first opened my eyes to this high laser while having the timings on his stream. And shoutouts to the Falco Discord just for talking about Falco with me and being awesome. Alright, see you all next time. Peace.